This guide will assist you in adjusting the drive string tension so that the motor can work properly. It is recommended to insert the carrier's last to limit any interruptions from them. When you turn the screw on the end, the U-shaped plate pulls back and adds pressure on the springs, which ultimately tightens the wire. Check to make sure that the spring is properly placed. Position the wire on the groove of the carrier and pull the wire with your hand. While still pulling tightly on the wire, jiggle the wire to ensure the wire is not stuck or loose anywhere. After, tighten the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. Be careful to not over tighten it. Take a wrench and turn the screw on the end clockwise five times. To test the tension of the drive string, Take an item and pluck the wire. The wire should vibrate a little. Use your hand to move the carriers to test if the movement is smooth. Plug in the motor by pulling out the red clip and inserting the motor. The red clip should pop back in and you should hear a click. This means that the motor is secured. To unplug the motor, pull the red clip out again and pull the motor out vertically. Using the remote, open and close the track a few times to see if the track stops automatically.